So finally, now that Humi successfully took Mobad out of the way, yes, he succeeded. She succeeded. When I say he, you are going to find out who that he is soon as you stay put to the end of this video. Humi succeeded. She succeeded. She succeeded in taking Mobad out. She did. She did. Now, it wasn't as if she wanted Mubad's money at that time. No, not at all. What Mubad had wasn't much. Of course, she got a lawyer to thumbprint Mubad, even though he was lying down there, lifeless. She got all of that because she needed some of the little money. But she became more greedy. In fact, certain people advised. They said, look, this young man his record sales stream will skyrocket and she became more interested in it ibrahim mobad's father came out with this the tom printed and formed invented a will they started issuing disclaimer not directly through proxies that there is nothing like will but we know what they did well, you're about to hear what you have never heard before. You're about to hear what you have never heard before. Oba Gucci, as he is called. You know who I'm talking about? Oba Gucci. Wow. What you will hear now, hmm, I want you to make sure you keep it at the left palm of your hands because you will need it on this justice. For more bad. Before we proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Very important to our returning subscribers and those that have been here. I say a very big thank you to you. To those that have tapped on the thanks button to encourage this channel to do more, I say thank you. If you want to also, you can as well tap on that thanks button. You will find super thanks, super this, super that. You'll find all of it there to encourage this channel to do more. Still on justice for Mobad. We will not stop. Hmm. Now that we know that Mobad is out of the way, has been the father of Liam. So who is the father of Liam? So the father of Liam is the one fully backing Wumi because he knows that Wumi is the one holding his baby. That is your that is the truth. And we know that this man is highly connected, even up to the presidency. We heard that it was once PA to Bart. I don't know how far it's true. If anybody can confirm that, let me see a yes. That it was once a PA to Bart. I'm talking about Boda Gucci. Make a cuckoo nail for head. You know Boda Gucci? Eh, eh. They say it was former PA to Bart. And we heard that Bo 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 Boda Gucci is also highly connected to the police force in Lagos. So that is where the backing is from. I will confirm that for you. I will confirm that. So that is where that is the why, right? Whispers that is why is that baby. God. If Wumi is not pregnant or having a baby, it would have been a different story. She wouldn't have gotten this so much backing. Our, our, our mother is not highly ranked in the police force. What is our mother's rank? So the why is baby Liam. That is why. And me don't talk. Him. Now that we know that Mobad is not the father, let Boda Gucci go and carry Liam, make all of us face Wumi. Because women's prison, my uh, prison uniform is almost ready. Now, 25 years minimum. So let Boda Gucci go and carry his baby. Enough of this trying to stampede justice. We will get justice, Boda Gucci. We will get justice. We are not backing down. This generation, know they hear what? Want to get you, Allah? <laughs> ben, Ben, right. We know they hear it. The era of Soros, okay. La one see. Okay. And we don't respect wicked leaders. So, Boda Gucci, go and carry your baby. It's not, it's, it's, it's not Mobad's boy. It's not Mobad's son. So, go and carry your baby. Make all of us face Wumi. They don't open prison door for Wumi. Our uh, uniform is on this so I'm giving you your answer, right, Whispers? That's the why. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. My my second question will be, um, couldn't he have just taken the son? Could he not do, you know, if he's that powerful and prominent, he could have just good asked question. 
Do you remember? I don't know who said this that uh, power corrupts and absolute powers corrupts absolutely. Yeah. These guys are power drunk, right? Hmm. These guys are power drunk. I mean, they killed the wrong guy. They felt they could just get, kill him and, and let go with it. I mean, they are surprised about the outcome. You think they are not shocked? Hmm. How can a capital son be making so much, so much noise all over the world? How long are you going on? My question still remains if they feel like, okay, this person, this child belongs to them, to this particular person, this Gucci, why didn't he just take his child? Million dollar question, girl. I can't answer that. Million oh, yeah. dollar question. It's okay. the same thing we're all saying. Question, Crunch Queen, that million dollar question is not tying me up to Mobat's um, um, petition when he was alive. Absolutely correct. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. You correct, lady. You correct. Got you. you. Correct. You correct. He's a boy. He's that baby. Trace the baby that you see the real backer. Yeah, because that doesn't make any sense. Like, wh what was the petition about? And that's the reason why Wumi was there. She knew about yeah. all of this petition. She should have told something or said something about the Mobat's petition. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. She wouldn't, girl. <laughs> she wouldn't. She's a big player in the scheme of things. She wouldn't. Huh. You want to copy about that Gucci to, to, to Mobad? Come on, girl. She won't. Mm. She'd rather sacrifice Mobad. She'd rather sacrifice Mobad. It's and a, that was what she did. It's, it's a big question for me. Like, why would you want to stay with Mobad when you can be with the father of your child? Why would you want to do that? It's sad. It's really sad. Yeah, you could have done that. I mean, you could have done that. You could have been with the father of your child instead of staying with nice. Mobad. You know, like you said, uh, the mother agreed that um, Mobad adopted. Okay, he agreed. She when said he it. Girl, she said it. I saw, she said it, honestly. She said it. So they know all along that Mobad was not the father. And this this girl was trying to claim Mobad's property. Saying, saying Liam is, is the next of kin. Just imagine. Just imagine the scheme. Hmm. You kill the boy, you now want to get his property with an illegitimate child? Come on. But now the truth is out. The boy okay. is not Mobad's son. Hmm. So and she has no claim to Mobad's property. Me, Boji and Liam. It's difficult for me to go past that because you had the opportunity in the world. You were with this young man. We all saw the videos, or saw, rather the picture, sorry, the picture when she was pregnant and then they did the traditional marriage. Yeah. The belly was big. The stomach was big. Absolutely. It, yeah. Well, that was Mobad knew. Mobad knew it wasn't his. his. Mobad knew. You need to look at the baby shower. If you have the video of the baby shower, look at the way Mobad was looking. It was Bella that was going up and down. Tokuru Tonga, Tokuru Tonga. Eh? You need to look at Mobad's countenance at that, at that baby shower. You could see it all over him. This picking not be my own. This one that Jesus where we weren't born. You could see it from the video. Of the baby shower mm. but look at look at bella muda bella Fuda's gesture she if the guy was just going up and down up and down let's say now you get the belly uh -uh. hey, hey. evidence it, zero receipt zero right with spouse receipt fully mm. done it forget receipt i, I pity him more bad then eh? i just pity him more bad man welcome back now let us ask this question if Wumi's mother not highly placed in the police anyway but she is highly placed in corruption. She's highly connected to corrupt police officers. If Wumi can press to have Prime Boy arrested, I mean rearrested again, if she can call her mom and uh, call who they know here and there in the police force to do this corrupt act, the question we should ask ourselves is this why didn't Wumi help Mobad? when he petitioned sam larry obviously wumi will not help mobad because wumi is entangled with sam larry and oba gucci it's as simple as abc now it is easy every time questions are asked about sam larry and obele gucci the response of wumi shows that she has a lot to do with these people. Now, it is easy. 
if you are to look at Wumi and her mom, her mom is not highly placed. I know that being highly placed or lowly placed or middle placed has nothing to do with corrupt people. But there is more to what the eyes can see. People had it one and one together and they came to this conclusion that that boy, Liam, that brought about the constant bully of Mobad and the eventual demise of Mobad is connected to someone who is very much highly placed. If Obale Gushi is the father of Liam, then a lot of things make sense. A lot, a lot, a lot makes sense. Now, people have asked questions such as, you hear what our guest said, why didn't Wumi leave Mobad? We should also ask, but we will not be able to get answers. Why didn't Mobad leave Wumi? It wasn't as if they had peaceful relationship. No, it was full of, it was a tumultuous relationship. It was full of problems. It was full of quarrels. It was full of misunderstanding. What made, what prompted, what kept Mobad? Some people are saying Mobad was charmed. Maybe he was, maybe he was not. Well, he's gone. We are here. I hope you're all learning from the demise of Mobad. That there are certain things that are important in life to be conscious of. There are things that you must pay attention to. There are things that you must, as a matter of fact, work on. And what is this? You have to work on that. You have to work on that. I am in a relationship. I cannot leave him. I love him. He is the only man in my life. And all of that. When you know that this individual, this person that you are with is dangerous. This person is in your life to end you. Mobad's father somehow could not split both of them. If he had known, I'm sure he will be regretting now. He will be regretting now. If he had known, if he had known, if he had known, he would have done more than what he did. He would have split this terrible relationship. But unfortunately, a lot of things worked against Mobad. A lot of things worked against him. He worked against himself. His father tried, but didn't try enough. That's what we are going to say, uh, because he did not achieve um, what he was supposed to achieve. His mom, she is not even someone to talk about. Not someone to talk about. It is so bad. It is so bad. It is so bad. Now that Mobad is no more, we are hearing that uh, the king, maybe, is now ready to arrange for Wumi. But we will be watchful. We will be watchful. We want to see how the king is going to achieve this one. We will see how the king is going to achieve this one. It is not possible. I repeat again. It is highly impossible. Highly impossible for Wumi to achieve this high level cover up. It is not possible for her to do this by herself. You know, in Nigeria, laws are divided into two. One law is for the poor and no law at all is applicable to the elite. You could be a politician. Now, you might see at times politicians persecuting themselves. They only do this to opposition. In reality, they don't do it to themselves. They do it to opposition once in a while just to muscle on the opposition to make sure that your opposition realizes that uh, they are powerful and that they are here. They can do and undo. They can press. They can destroy. They, can... they do it to themselves. How is it easy for women to achieve this? That question needs an answer. And that answer is not far-fetched. It is not far-fetched at all. Wumi is not working alone. 
Wumi is not working alone. No, not at all. Wumi is not operating this alone. It's not possible. It is not possible. No, this is called impossicant. Wumi is not doing this alone. There are forces. There are people. That's what we call them, forces that are behind this that Wumi is doing. And when we say forces, it might just be a force, just one. Um, all that is needed is a corrupt police officer. And uh, the next that is needed is uh, you just get uh, some um, couple of corrupt officers and you have someone bankrolling them or someone ordering them to do what they are doing. That's it. That is it. How can Wumi, the prime suspect in the demise of Mobad, walk freely, move freely, petition people right, left and center, and the police are responding to a petition, locking up? What does, I, I mean, do, does it make sense? It doesn't make sense at all. It shows that soon people out of anger, people out of realizing that uh, justice is not being served as it should, they will pour out on the street. And what will become of it might be too, you know, big for the police or the government of Nigeria to handle. So I'll advise them, I'll suggest to them to do the needful now before it is too late. Because what will happen will be beyond their imagination. You know, it is not just about justice for Mobad. It's not about equity, equality, and all of that for Mobad. It is about humanity. And people are angry. A lot of things are going wrong. People will take advantage. They will just use this as an opportunity to vent all. It's going to be like a pent-up anger. What they've stomached for a long time. Like, no, enough is enough. They are going to join politics. They are going to join social life, economy. All of those Things will be added together. Police brutality, inadequacy, lackadaisical attitude. Everything will be joined together and people will come out on the street. It might be worse than answers. So it is better you do the info before it is too late. That's my suggestion. But you can as well um, listen or not listen.